He had two people. I mean, you push a dog into a corner, he's just going to come out fighting. And that's, that's exactly what T.O. did just now. I mean, I, I, really, I really still wish we would stop talking. But, man, that made my week. I, probably my month, man. That was just... I mean, when I first heard him say that uh, at the very beginning of that um, video, when he said that uh, I'm the reason why he's in the booth right now, my jaw hit the floor, and then it didn't. I didn't pick it up till like a couple of hours later, man. That, that was it. Was just classic. It was beautiful. It was on point. Everything. He he had his points. And the thing about what To said is he brought facts out. You know, he brought facts. He brought stats. And Keyshawn, I saw his little rebuttal on ESPN. He really didn't have anything to say. You could tell he was hurt, you know, by the words. But I guess, you know, it seems to me like Keyshawn's trying to be like Michael Irvin, you know. And Michael Irvin was, you know, rambunctious or whatever. But the thing about Mike, Mike can say anything about anybody. Because no one can say the things that they said about Keyshawn about Michael Irvin. He's got the stats. He's got the heart. He's got the rings. He's got everything. So you can't. You can't be Michael Irvin if you hadn't walked the walk of a Michael Irvin, um, but I, I feel now that we're we're gonna we're enjoying today. This is all funny, but we're gonna have a huge backlash from ESPN and just ESPN because I listened to that NFL Network and you know Jamie Dukesim said you know T.O. was right you know in which which he is. They said uh, Keyshawn's right for extent because yeah. We all know Parcells brought these uh, these players there. I've said it several times in my video, and most Cowboy fans know that. But we know that, you know, that this is a this is a different team. It feels different. Um, I was just watching Demarcus Ware, uh, video on NFL Network, and Demarcus Ware was talking about the things that are better this year than last year. Now that's not taken as a dig on Parcells. So why is it taken as a dig on Parcells? When T.O. says the differences that are better this year than last year, you know, it, it it just depends on the player. And I guess some people realize that and some people don't. But I know from ESPN, they've been digging and they've been promising us. Skip Bayless, all those guys have been promising us a T.O. explosion. So that we're digging and digging and poking and poking. And if you saw that interview that I saw with T.O. on, 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 on the... Uh, Whatever it is on ESPN, I don't even watch their morning show anymore, or I rarely ever did. But uh, he was talking about, you know, every question was, what's the difference between your team now and when Parcells did it? Well, how are you being used different now than when Parcells was? What, uh, how, why is it so much comfortable in the locker room for you than last year? So they would compare, every question was comparing this year to last year, so T.O. had to answer, you know. So it was it, it was it was just tough that to see them win because ESPN won. They've got what they wanted. They got a T.O. explosion. Now, you know, th those guys, and you know who those guys are. Are I'm not talking about Tony Kornheiser, not talking about Tony Riley, not talking about Jaws, you know, or any of the anchormen on ESPN, but you know the the guys that we're talking about that will are looking for stuff to, to bash T.O. about. And I bet you the NFL Network is absolutely enjoying this. Because it's exposing ESPN as the tabloid journalism that they're moving toward. You know, I, I love the ESPN 60. I love a lot of things they do. I love Michael Smith. I, you know, there's a lot of people there I really, really, really like and really, really, really ex respect a lot. But then, you know, sometimes just to, I mean, his rebuttal, he was cursing on his rebuttal. He was so hurt. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You got to be... You got to be better than that. And, and, and Keyshawn, you you were one of my favorites, man. I always liked you, man. It's just like this year you just you had a vendetta, it seemed like, against uh, this team because of Bill. And I'm telling you, Bill is going to be fine. Bill is a legend. You've said it yourself. Bill is going to be, you know, thought of as one of the greatest coaches uh, that our time has ever seen, regardless whether you stand up for him or not. Bill is going to be Bill. You know, and we respect Bill a lot, but things are different now. I still wish we hadn't said anything. All right, peace. Have a good week. I know I am.